Well, hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen. This is Ann and Nick Brown, all the way from Akakik, Maryland, with our Focus Forward training this morning. Today is January, January 17th, 18th. Uh, let me see what date it is. Today is January 18th. And I uh, just wanted to uh, welcome everyone. And just this training is going to be going on every Saturday morning from 9 to 9.45, where we actually get an opportunity to answer your questions, kind of communicate any new things that are going on, and, uh, and also give you an opportunity to, um, to learn something new. There'll be some training as well. And let me just show you our agenda today. is starts with Next Generation Q&A. As you know, in the first part of January, uh, first part of January, um, Surge 365 Next Generation was launched, and we are now in phase two. And I know that there have been a lot of questions, uh, but they've been there have been a lot of discussions. There have been a lot of um, a lot of angst and confusion in terms of everything that that has been going on, everything that was put in place. And so I know we've gone through the training, we've sent out the emails, we've, we've actually had guest trainers on talking about it, and I know we're going to continue talking about it, but I wanted to put it out there um, and ask if anybody had any questions. And I'm not sure if I have anyone, it doesn't look like I have anyone on on the phone. I'm not really sure if that shows up or not. So if you're on the phone, you're welcome to have questions as well. Or to ask questions. Okay, did anyone have any questions? Ms. Belinda, did you have any questions of the changes? Or and I know you're relatively new. So this is this is this is this is what you're learning. So that's cool. Nick Brown, did you have any questions or comments? No. All righty. Okay. Well, Nick Brown is on mute, but I heard him say no. So, okay. So we're going to go ahead and get started with um, talking about today, our mobile app. Now, in, when you go into your back office, you have the opportunity of, of um, getting a mo mobile app. And when you do, you when you download the mobile app, it actually it literally puts your 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 um your um your your business on your phone. And so I was going to show you in the back in your back office, you'll actually see a, a icon that says mobile app. But that's not how you get the mobile app. So when you get the, when you want to download the mobile app on your phone, you have to go to if you're if you're on, and using an Android, you'll need to go to the um, the the Play um, the uh, Android the Play uh, not PlayStation but um, the Play Store. That's what I'm talking about. The Play Store. Now I'm not sure. Good morning, Angela Windley. I'm not sure what, where you go when you're on, when you have an iPhone. I don't have an iPhone, but I know on Android, you have to go to the Play Store. And the Play Store is generally on my phone, is um, in, that, in that kind of section where Google and, and the other things are, or you might have a section that says apps, or you might just be able to, to search for it. So when I put in my search, in my search, um, thing Play Store, um, it 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 brings it up, and you have an opportunity to um, to tap on the Play Store and put in Surge three sixty five. When you put in Surge three sixty five, it will give you the option of adding the mobile app. Now, when you add that mobile, when you actually download the mobile app, and it doesn't take that long, when you download the mobile app it actually gives you an opportunity to um after after it downloads it after it downloads um and it looks like now it looks there are two there are actually two mobile apps and you can't see my phone however it um it actually looks like one looks like the purple x and the other one looks like the um 
Let me see. I don't know if this is better. Mm. One looks like the purple X. No, you can't see it. Anyway, one has the purple X icon, and the other has the... No, I don't want to open it. It has the X and the N and G icon, Search 365. And I'll try to do a PowerPoint slide and, and so that every, so especially new people know. But it has the Search 365 Next Generation icon. You want to do that mobile app. But there's also another one with a capital S and 365 that has Search 365 Travel. Now, the, why do you want to have both of these mobile apps? With a Surge 365 NG Next Generation, a mobile app is more for your marketing business. The Surge 365 Travel is what you can use for your travel business. So it is very, um, both of them are very, very user friendly. Uh, and once you have them on your, right here on your, uh, on your phone, you can get access to your, to your business at any time. And, and it also gives you an opportunity to track your money, track any commissions that might be going on, any messages that the company might be sending out. And also, if you're talking to someone, let's say that you're speaking with someone at a hair salon, you can look up a quote right on your mobile app and show them how it works. So um, it's, it's very, it's very user-friendly. Um, once you actually get it downloaded onto your phone, it's relatively easy to use. And, and I, just in, I just encourage everyone to get it. Now, the Surge 365 mobile app, I don't know if you can see that, is really um, focused on your membership. So it has hotels, cars, cruises, vacation homes, flights, activities, and marketplace. So it's like having your, more, having your membership on your cell phone. And now if you're looking for something, if someone, if you, especially if someone wants to compare prices, you can actually say, oh, on my, how much did you pay for that? Oh, on my membership um, at the same hotel, um, our, on our membership, we only pay this. Or on our membership, we only do this. And so you can actually give a price comparison right here as close as your phone. So uh, I encourage everyone to download, have both mobile apps on their, on their site, on their phone, because uh, it's just a great way to kind of offer everything. Now, this is the, the X generation mobile app. Hopefully you can see that. Now, I don't know if anyone has had a chance to, to listen to this podcast. I haven't had a chance to do it, but I heard some very good things about it. I plan on getting that done today. But this is where you find, just click on it and listen to the podcast. And I understand that it's a wealth of information. I also want to talk about what we're going to talk about a little later. It's three-way calls. When you, when you actually download your app, one of the icons is going to be this little phone. And when you, okay, also when you download your mobile app, sometimes when they actually make, you can't really see this, when they make um, changes or adjustments or upgrades, uh, you, have to, you have to log in again. So that's what it, it kicked me out, which indicates that there was a, there was a, a, a um, change or a um, upgrade and so you just have to log in again. Now, how do you log in? You just use your same um, username, which is your email address, and your, um, and your password to, to log in again. And when you do that, it, it basically comes back up on your phone and it refreshes. So I don't know if anybody else has had that happen. I know I have uh, a number of times. And it also gives you this, there's all this verbiage and you have to accept what the new license agreement. And once you accept the license agreement, it actually, it actually refreshes on your phone and you know that you've, getting, you've gotten the, the next one. So if, if you try to log into your app and it goes blank and or it asks you to log in again, that's basically to upgrade or to whatever you have to the new the new, um, whatever they, they've actually put out new. Okay, so 
Uh, what I was talking about is that on here you have what's called a three-way call button. And I encourage you, when you click on that button, it'll ask you if you'd like to request a call. For instance, one of the people that I have, you can't see this, but it's Janice Parker. I have her on my three-way call button. I also have um, Vincent Payton on my three-way call button. I also have Nick Brown on my three-way call button. And so if I need a three-way call, I can, instead of having to call them, I can just request a call and it sends them a message that says, hey, Ann Brown needs a three-way call. And so this is really great to have, have your leadership or anyone that you would want or to do a three-way call with right here at your fingertips. And it sends the message for you. So that's one of the features that I, I really, I really admire and I really think is great about our app. Not only that, but you can also list your prospects. And when you list your prospects, you can also see who's, uh, you can't see it. You can also see who's actually watched the video that you sent via your app, who, you know, you can kind of track their progress in, in your app. Um, you can also add events. You can add events, but the, be cautious about adding events because if you add an event, everybody in the company can see it. So this is great for directors or if you're doing a travel party and you don't mind who comes. But if you're doing something small, maybe at your home, and you want to limit the number of people who come, you might not want to put the address out because we've had people kind of just show up or maybe we cancel the event and forget to cancel it on the app and people have been sitting at the location and like, okay, what happened to the event? So I just caution you to, to if you're going to add an event, number one, make sure that it is going to be an event that you can do and you don't mind other people coming uh, because this is an awesome, awesome tool and everybody can, is, has access to your event. The, on the mobile app, you can also access your back office with this key. When you click on that, it kind of goes to your back office. And this is the alert button. And the alert button kind of tells you messages that Surge 365 is sending you. If they send you a message if someone cancels, it sends you a message if something's happening with your website, they send you a message if you need to call a corporate office. Um, so there are different alerts that they send. And they're also, they're also a space for tasks. So let's say that if Juliet St. John used the app and she had something for me to do, she could actually put it on the task and just say, hey, Ann, I need you to take care of this. Juliet St. John is our director, by the way. But on our task right now, um, there's an event reminder. There's the Winners Win Live. Um, there's the pre-launch update. All kinds of tasks. Um, that we need to take care of. So I encourage you to log in and look at your tasks um, because the company does send out tasks and event reminders and things we need to remember. So um, definitely um, look at your, look at the, look at your, the, um, that little icon with the phone in it for your alerts and tasks. Okay, so that's basically it with the mobile app. Uh, I encourage you to download it if you don't have it already. If you do have it, I encourage you to try to log in to see if it, after all these upgrades, it should ask you to reboot or, you know, download it again. And so make sure that you're actually working off the most um, recent information and, and definitely use your mobile app. Now, did we have, did anyone have any questions? I don't know. All right. Thank you. Anybody have any questions, comments? All right. Well, we're going to go on to the team online presentations. Our team online presentations, oh, before I, before I do that, um, Angela, I know you came in late, and what we did was I know we've, we've gone through the search next generation information and I just wanted anyone who got on the line to get an opportunity to answer, get your questions answered. Angela Wendley, did you have any questions about the next generation, any of the upgrades, any of the things that are happening? Hi, Ann. Hey. Um, 
No, I'm good. I've been on the calls. I'm okay. Zoom, so. Okay. Okay. Good. Well, I know there's there've been a lot of calls. There's been a lot of information out there, and I didn't want to regurgitate anything. But if anyone had que a question, I wanted to make sure it was taken care of. Okay. So we're Thank gonna. You. You're welcome. Thank you. We're gonna move on now to the team online presentations. Okay. So um, we are we're starting some online presentations. Those teams that are moving ahead are doing online presentations. And most recently, um, one of the leaders shared with me that they never stop doing test drives um, and actually doing, especially doing those um, comparisons. And so we know that we got a lot of leverage with that when we were doing those. And so I encourage us to, to, to start doing them again. So what you're going to see is... Um, you're going to see those people who are on our Facebook page. It's going to be very, very important that you're on our Facebook page and that you're also you're also um, logging in and that you're communicating various things to the team to to your teams. Those people who are plug in plugging in will get the most recent information. So what I've begun doing is posting stuff on Facebook and also posting things via um via our um via the also i'm um, sending things out via email my our, our email messaging uh, and what has been happening is that other um other team members um especially those where they're leaders they may not have leadership are, are getting more engaged and things are going out on a broader network and, and getting more engaged I, and we're in the process of launching a reactivation campaign the, the entire company um, the, the, the thing is now is to reactivate as many people as possible. And so it's so important that we reach out and, and let people know what we have aboard, what we have um, for them and some of the changes. So in, in the, within the next couple of days, I've, I've already printed out our list. I'm going to actually be calling people, leaving messages, having conversations and getting them on. Uh, because sometimes the email address may not be valid anymore, or they may just not be checking them. Um, however, I am going to really in, begin to actually at least let people, give people the opportunity to come back. Um, and a part of that is having a presentation to invite them to. Now, um, Dawn Brewer, she has allowed me to be a part of her page. And if you don't know her, she is, um, she, She's actually at the leadership. She's not a, a she trained at convention. She's, um, she's been at the top, the top of the leaderboard. And one of the things that she has really done is harness Facebook um, and especially Facebook groups. And so not only does she has her team posting in various groups, but she actually, um, she actually posts in, in various groups and she really gets to know the algorithms. Um, for instance, um, she she puts out a post and say, okay, everybody post this in your various groups. But when someone gets started in her team, she she tells them to get on Facebook and start joining various groups. Join the groups that you're interested in. Jo if you are, you know, if you're interested in cricket, then there are Facebook groups out there that you can join. If you're interested in, I don't know, um, mobile apps, their Facebook groups that you can join. So she's an advocate for joining as many Facebook groups as possible because that's where people are. That's where pockets of people are. And when you join those group, groups, you don't want to spam people. Now, a, a good groups that are that to get started in are network marketing groups. Why? Because most network marketing groups and especially business groups, there are groups out there that are specifically for businesses and business owners to post what it is that they're doing. I encourage you to be, get a, become a part of some of those groups. Number one, you'll get to see other things that are out in the marketplace, what other people are doing, but you'll also get an opportunity to, to put your information out. And as we create various posts, what I've been doing is snagging some of the posts that she puts on her team that has worked. There was one, one week where she did a post and she had 10 people in her team actually do the same post in various groups. 
and she was acknowledged because they actually had 15 people join their team in that particular week. And everybody asked, how was she doing it? And she got on Facebook, when well, she got on, on Juliet's call and actually talked about her process, but she didn't share which post she used. Because I'm a part of her group, I did see the post. And so um, I, I asked her, and she, she doesn't mind, um, that, but we can, as you see the various posts that I'm post that, that I'm putting on the team pages, don't think that they're coming from me. I'm not quite, I'm not quite that creative. That's not my strong suit. They're coming basically from what she has put out on her team to post. And so, and it's working. So you can choose to use it or not. However, it's, 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 it's working. So um, a lot of the posts, especially you'll look on, on our Facebook page, I just put a post out there about Paris. And that post is specifically to, to get Vortex users on to your, to get people to sign up for your Vortex. So it, and it's an offer to save money. So most people are not, now if you ha, are joining a group and they do not allow promotions or soliciting, then I do not suggest that you promote your business because what will happen is they will take you out of the group. However, if, let's, say that, say, let's say that they're members of that group. There's no reason why you can't send a member of the group a personal message and say, hey, how you doing? Introduce yourself and just say, hey, I just wanted to offer this to you. Or let's say a member of the group says that they're going on a cruise and ask if they have any information. Well, if they're talking about travel, you can send them a personal message via Messenger and send that and just say, hey, why not join? You know, I wanted to give you this free gift. Join, join my Vortex and get savings when you travel. And so that's an opportunity to build your client base and using Facebook and, and maybe touching people that you wouldn't ordinarily touch. Now, it, now, it's a whole process because when they go to your page, they, of course, they're going to see what you're about. They're going to look at various things. So you might want to post some photos or some things right now. Um, I think I, you know, Angela Winley, I think I was going to tag you, but I think I ended up tagging a Wanda in South Carolina. But why not start, if you look on my page, there's a seven day post where you post seven travel photos and each day you, can, you get another person to post a travel photo. So if we did that within our team, if you snag that, or let's say, let's say Belinda or Angela, I snag you and I say, okay, this is the seven-day post where you post seven travel pictures. Well, guess what? Now, now when someone comes to your page, they're just seeing travel photos of different things that you've done. And so if you do that for an entire week, imagine um, the kind of interest that, 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 they, that, that, may, um, that, that may cause and also uh, the interest that that might generate. And also you may want to, as you're tagging other people in your team, is now bringing everyone together. So a way to use that is that you might use the, you might put the post out there, but then you might also uh, post a flyer um, for, 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 your, um, uh, for one of our flyers, one of our team flyers. And so that's an opportunity to now people see to see some of the things that you have going on. But anyway, on the bullet, we're talking about team online presentations. So, and the reason I talked about this is that one thing that Dawn Brewer doesn't do is that she doesn't post her presentations. She, she invites people, but she invites people internally. So you're not going to go to her page and find out when the presentation is. The why, why she does that is because she feels like, and, and Director Lorenzo Lassen was doing that as well for a while, because it, it eliminates the sense of urgency. It kind of usurps your, your urgency. So if you call someone and say, oh, you've got to get on this presentation tonight, and they know that the presentation happens every day or every day of the week at this particular time, or they see it on your page, it's going to be very difficult to get them on that presentation tonight. 
But if you say, hey, I'm, inter- I'm, I'm actually hosting, we're doing a special session, and I'm hosting it tonight for a few of our key, the, my special friends, and you now send them personally the invitation, and maybe you say, this is just for you and a guest or something like that, but this is not to be posted on social media or shared. Now people feel like they're being invited to something exclusive. And when people feel that, I know I do, when I'm, when I'm invited to something exclusive, I pay more attention to it. I, I'm, I'm, I'm more apt to RSVP as opposed to something that, you know, the masses are invited to. Because in my mind, I'm thinking, oh, well, you invited everybody. So, you know, it really doesn't matter whether I show up or not. Well, it does matter. So <clears throat> when... When I get an exclusive invitation, I check my calendar and I say, okay, whether I can make it or not. And, <clears throat> and also I'm very cognizant about, you know, I want people to look good if they invite me to a, a business presentation. I don't want to say I'm coming and I don't. So that is something in terms of the mindset. Don't, you know, don't actually put it out there for the masses but invite people personally and tell them why. So you know what, you said you wanted to go to China and um, the the person I'm working with, Ann Brown, she actually took a trip to China. I'd love for you to have an opportunity to ask her about Beijing. Or you said that you wanted to go to Canada, we're gonna show you how to go to Canada. If you look on, um, for today, the 30 30 most visited places, our presentation at 1 p.m., that presentation is just for the membership, just membership only. I'm not doing a presentation. I'm just putting pictures of the 30 most visited presentations, and it's according to USA Today. I got the list from USA Today, and so they did a poll, and so I've got the list of the 30 places. I'm going to do photos and that kind of stuff. And then I'm going to do a test drive to actually show people how our membership works. And I'm going to do a comparison, um, probably just one of the places, but just say, okay, this is how much this costs or Expedia. So this will be a closed presentation, invitation only. If you notice, I put the, I put the flyer out there that there's going to be a presentation, but people don't really know. Um, they know it's going to be at 1 p.m., but they don't know how to access it. So if they wanted to join the presentation, they have to get in touch with me. And just by putting that invitation out, I've gotten two people that have said, okay, yeah, I'd like to join. Well, I'm just, so I haven't sent them the information yet. They responded last night and said, oh yeah, I want to count me in, I want to come. Okay, but I didn't send, I said, okay, I'll send you the information tomorrow, probably around 11 o'clock or 12. And so that, what that does is that now it, it makes it even more exclusive. And if they now say, oh, well, I'm not at home or I can't, you know, I thought I could make it, but I'm not going to make it. When can I do it again? It creates this dialogue uh, where as if I just put the information out there, they are compelled to tell me whether they can make it or not. They're not compelled to tell me whether they're interested or not. So we're gonna be doing team online presentations, especially for the end of the month, we're gonna be doing two, one at eight, one at 10. I'm gonna consult with with director um, Lorenzo Latson and find out how um, he records his presentations and and replays them. So we're gonna be testing that as well so that it's as, it's as easy as pushing a button in terms of doing these presentations. So the first ones are going to be a little more difficult, challenging. However, hopefully it will be synchronized. I'll have it to the point where basically we get our guest on, we push the button, the presentation plays, and then we go live for a few minutes for Q&A or to do the closeout. And that makes it a lot easier on everybody involved and it also makes it easier for the team because now anybody can push the button and do a presentation so that means if i have something else i have to do at eight i can ask another leader to to do the do the team call so our team online presentations are going to start today one at eight and one at ten i posted the information on the team facebook page i did not send it out via email 
Um, so if only those people who look at Facebook or those leaders who send the information to their teams will know about the team online presentation right now. Um, maybe later on, because I want those people who plug in to get first advantage. Uh, and so I want those people who plug in, you're on this call this morning to be rewarded and to get the opportunity to get the jump start. So I encourage you to, you know that team presentation is going to happen at 8 p.m. We've got one today at 1, which is basically a test drive and it's for the membership. It's showcasing our membership. Then we have the full presentations at 8 and at 10. And so you can call, I encourage you to invite um, 10 people, get a list of 30 people, invite 10 people to each presentation. And that's another thing, we have to get better at inviting. So we want to get in the habit of whatever, whatever we're inviting to, have at least 10 people that we're inviting to get there. Um, what generally happens is every, all 10 can't come, they can't show up. But if you get in the habit of and start tracking, with every 10, you get one person to show up. Every 10, you get two people to show up. Now you've got trackable results, and you can now basically guess how long it's going to take you to get to your next bonus or what you need to do. So I want you to start getting your list and tracking, sending out the invitations. Um, and, and we'll have different things that you can send out as well, different things that you can say. You, we all, I've already posted um, the, the instructions for a $1,000 bonus. And if you follow those instructions, it basically walks you through the process and what you need to do for people who are in your warm market, for people that you know. That process does not work as well for people in your cold market because you haven't developed that rapport. And maybe I'll put that on there because let's say that you just meet someone on Facebook you might have to develop a little bit more rapport before you actually, um, they'll get on the phone with you. However, you could basically just go back and forth and say, hey, this is what I do. Would you like to hear more about it? And they might, are you available tonight or at eight or 10? Which time is best for you? And we have two exclusive events coming on tonight. And they might say, well, 10 o'clock will be better for me. Okay, great. I'll send you the information. Basically send them that flyer and just say, okay, I'm looking forward to your being on at 10. But the key is you want to write their name and number down or their information so you can follow up with them and say, hey, this is just a reminder that you're going to be on at 10. I'll, I'll have our, our team looking out for you. And I'm looking forward to, to being able to share the information so that it makes it more personal. It makes it more exclusive. And you want to throw in what it is that they it said they were interested in. They were interested in cruising or they're interested in travel. They might want to go to Jamaica. Whatever you found out about them, you want to definitely put that in the invitation as well. Now, what's the difference between, again, the, the, first, the first presentation we're doing at one is primarily talking about the membership. That's for that person who doesn't want to do sales. That person who loves to travel, wants to save money, don't necessarily want to do network marketing, not interested in growing a team, but they are interested in saving money on what they're already doing. They are interested in being able to take their family on vacation and save money. So our first presentation is about dreaming and going and going to these various locations and using the membership to save money to do so, and those reward credits to be able to go for free. The second presentation, the one at eight and at 10, are about the entire program. We're gonna be talking about the Vortex. We're gonna be talking about um, the, the, the travel agency. We're also gonna be talking about the membership, and we're gonna be talking about the, um, the option of being a surge business associate. So, uh, for the first presentation, I am going to say something like, if you if you like to learn how you can make money at this, then, or if you're interested in, in doing this as a home-based business, then I encourage you to reach out to me because we'll have presentations um, to give you information about that part of our business. So I'm not going to go into it. I'm not going into $1,000 bonuses. I want it to be a clear distinction 
that, okay, this is just the membership. So if, you, if you've ever gone to a timeshare presentation, that's what it's going to be sort of like, you know, you know, kind of wowing them and getting them to get started with our membership and thinking of it like a timeshare. And we know those timeshare presentations have worked for years. And so they could definitely work for our business as well. Three-way calls. There's a great, there's a way to do three-way calls. And we're going to begin, we've gotten away from that because people knew how to do them. But as we add new team members, we need to make sure that's on the forefront of what we're talking about, how to do a good three-way call and how to edify appropriately. Um, Because it's so important to actually do the mechanics of the three-way call. I will actually record a training in our Facebook page so that you can actually learn how to do three-way calls and we'll know what's available. In fact, instead of, I'll do it on our Facebook page and I'll probably put it on YouTube as well. If you notice on our social media, on our Facebook page, you should notice that we have different units. And on those different units, um, there's the training unit, there's an announcement unit. It's an opportunity for for us to um, group Um, information together so that if someone wanted to look at all the the one to look at the announcements they could basically click on the announcements and they also have a kudos and high fives unit so if someone wants to know what kudos um, we what what recognition we put out they can basically go to the Facebook unit and look that up Um, so Facebook is a is a phenomenal platform and we've been able to do quite a bit with it. In fact, I'm going to pull it up and show you where the units are and how how useful how um, useful they can be. I know we only have approximately one more minute, and I don't want to. I want to honor your time, especially those that were on time. I want to honor your time, and but I definitely want you to see this information while we're here. Now, again, um, sorry for all the clicks. I can't stand that about my laptop. This is our team Facebook page. Belinda, when you accept the um, request, you should come to the team Believe and Succeed Facebook page. That's what you are looking for our team Believe and Succeed Facebook page. And when you look under here, um, there are different, this says continue to unit one training. But over here, we have different things, discussion units, announcements, members, events, videos, all kinds of things. What I added was on this tab, it says units. And I just wanna make sure everybody can see my screen. Can you see my screen? Can someone let me know? Yeah. Okay, awesome. When you click on units, um, and let me see if I can increase my page size. Okay. When you click on units, um, you can I could create another unit, but I've created a unit for training. So when you look at training, we've got to get it started. We've got the focus for our team training from last time. And we also have a new post. That, well, I'm probably going to do a new post today and put the focus for our training for today. Now, team updates. I put the, the crews in there, but we'll probably put um, the Juliet's, um, Juliet's um, training. In, or it's either going in training or team updates. But um, the training, the the training probably will go in training. But anyway, um, company updates. Um, so anything that the company puts out, I put that in there. And sometimes I delete it as well because if it's a call or something like that. Um, kudos, high fives, and team recognition is where you can actually see uh, some of the team recognition. I'm trying to get in the habit of making sure we're putting the team recognition in there. Right now, it's getting the recognition of those people who have taken their first class training. We have a unit called books, leaders or readers. So we put our book list in there. For events, we've got a unit called events. So I'm going to be putting the, the, um, the webinars, the three webinars we have today, make sure we put those in there 
so that everybody knows if you go to the units, you know the current events that we have going on. Prospecting tools. We have different um, prospecting tools that you could use as well. And that's where I put that. So I wanted everyone to realize that on social, on Facebook, in our team group, we actually have various units where you can kind of go and get various information. If you click on announcements, that's going to show you the, the most uh, recent announcements that have been made. Now, um, the announcements about the, this is the announcements about the, um, the 8 o'clock and the 10 o'clock webinars that we've got going on. This is the announcements about the 10 steps to your $1,000 bonus. So this is an opportunity to, this was an opportunity. Now, this shouldn't have been an announcement. So I'm going to take this, probably take that off. Um, I think I just wanted to highlight that for a little while. So you'll see the announcements change. This is our Zoom, uh, the, the announcements about our Focus Forward Leadership meeting. Um, so, so that it's right there. So if you go to our Facebook page, you have it. If you go to members, you actually see a list of our members. And if you see anyone that's not a member, because we had an issue where people were adding people that were not members. People were getting the pages mixed up. The team pages for team members. Our other page is for prospects. So this should be just team members. If you see someone that's not a part of the team, definitely let me know. For the events, um, I'm trying to make sure I stay on top of the calendar and making sure that I, we have our events in, in place. Um, um, the videos, you know, we have some videos in there. Um, photos, if you, if you need a photo or any, if, you, if I posted something that you like, go to photos. You can basically get it from there. We also have a file cabinet and our file cabinet includes a lot of documents and different things that we have going on. Um, you can look at those documents and figure out what was what's useful to you. And, um, and other thing, group insights, that's when um, any discussions and stuff, if you, any watch parties that we've done, um, you can definitely tap into those as well. I, I think I've only done a few in this group, but you can, I can add a video and do a watch party just for the team. And let's say that Janice was, um, and I've done that, let's say that Janice was doing a training and I wanted our team to be involved then I could do a watch party just on our team page, which is why it's so important that we're all on our Facebook page because it is really a hub in terms of communication. So with that being said, um, what I want to do now is open it up. It is now 9.50. I've gone five minutes over. Did you guys have any issues, questions, comments, or concerns? Don't have any, and I'm just gonna process what we have right now, and then I'll get back to you. But you, I see there's a team event at Olive Garden. Did you mention the date and the time that's gonna occur? Uh, yes, if you check your email, you should have that information. I also posted that on the, um, Belinda, I'm just, I'm getting some feedback, so I'm gonna mute your line. I also posted it, I think I posted it in Facebook, I also posted it on, I think I sent it out as well. There, uh, there is a team event, we're doing a team travel party on January 25th, on Saturday, January 25th, it's a luncheon, it's going to be at the Olive Garden in Bowie, Maryland. Um, you are more than welcome to, to bring guests. We're asking everyone to bring guests. Please RSVP. Lunch is twenty. Lunch is $15 per person. Um, it's going to be a modified menu for our group. And, um, and we'll have an opportunity to um, kind of break bread, have a great time. I suggest that if you have a candidate, that you, maybe you, you invite them and pay, offer to pay for their lunch. If you can't do that, invite them and just tell them lunch will be $15. We will be in our own area. We will be able to, now that Olive Garden does not have a private room, so we won't be in a private room. We're going to be probably at a table. We went to a, an insurance presentation there 
And it was very, very nice. And, um, and so the $15 includes, and what they do is when they give you that space, um, so you have that group space, they tend to, unless they're very crowded, see other people, or, you know, someplace else so that they don't, they don't hear your presentation. All right, that when we went to his presentation, that's what we did. That's what they did. And so um, it turned out to be really, really good. And those people, and, and then because it's open, it, you also have an opportunity. When you go to the restroom, somebody may say, hey, what are you talking about? And now you have an opportunity to get a, a new prospect. Um, so you want to bring your business cards. You want to bring your guests. And, um, and it's, it's, it's going to be a Q&A. We're going to have the group trips that we have going. We're going to be doing a test drive and showing people we, what we have available. Um, we're really going to be talking about the. everybody will leave with um, the, the person who invited them, um, their Vortex website address. So you, you'll give away your Vortex website address. Um, they, will get, um, they will have an opportunity to see our group trips that we have already on the books. Um, we'll talk about how to make money from those. We'll talk about the advantage of them, uh, of, of them doing their own group trip. And we'll also talk about the membership. And, um, and, and they will walk away with a sheet of benefits that they've written down. We'll play a game. We'll have a prize. But everybody will walk away, number one, with their questions answered. And either we're looking for them to get started or we'll look, they'll, they'll at least have enough information. You will at least get a new customer because we will get them their, um, your Vortex account right then and there. So, whether, uh, so it's going to be a great event, a lot of fun. Um, I've already, we're already collecting some RSVPs and we're going to begin doing this on a monthly basis. Now, what we want to do is invite people to the webinars first so that they get an opportunity to see what it's about. And then if they're interested, invite them to lunch. The webinar is free. So I would suggest that you get them on a sizzle call, invite them to a webinar, let them see what it's about, and then invite them to lunch to meet people. Let it serve as a three-way call to meet people, to get their questions answered, and make the decision in terms of whether this is what they want to do. I would not invite them to lunch as their first um, exposure if you can help it. Just because it's costing you money, I would at least pique interest at a free event before I invite them to something that I have to pay for. And that's just a way to segregate those people who are interested in looking for something as opposed to those people who are just out there kicking the tires and just talking. So that we have that event. If you have not seen the flyer, look on Facebook. I'll post it again today. I will also send it out again to the team. I know I sent it out. Um, so definitely look at the emails from Ann at It's Time for Your Success and uh, make sure you have it. Uh, I am not. Um, yeah, so that's basically it. Thank you for bringing that up. Did anybody else have any issues, questions, comments, or concerns? We also have a YouTube channel. If you haven't been to that channel, definitely um, I encourage you to visit that channel. I will post that link in the Facebook page. Um, we are, I also have an Instagram page. If you're on Instagram, let's make sure that we're friends uh, so that, you know, we can support each other and, uh, and definitely like each other's posts. I also have a Twitter account. And if you are on my social network and within my social network and you see me posting, I, I'm not sitting on social media all day posting. I have a service called Hootsuite. And so I schedule my postings. I can schedule my postings for the week. I haven't gotten them good. I haven't gotten good enough to schedule them for the month. Um, I, I generally schedule them for the day or every couple of days out. And so on Sundays, I schedule some posts during the week. And um, that way, um, it, it, uh, Hootsuite does my posts for me. And I don't have to be stuck in um, stuck doing, um, doing posts or on social media. Uh, for, for people to get relevant information. Um, so I um, just want you to know I'm not sitting on Facebook. I'm in meetings. I have a full-time job. I'm doing things as well. 
So when you see me posting, that doesn't mean I'm actually posting. It's just um, I've, I've, I've gotten it scheduled and I'm, I'm using technology to post for me. Um, so that's basically it. We have run over time. Miss Belinda, thank you for your questions. Did anybody else have any issues, questions, comments, or concerns? I want to thank Vincent Payton and Nick Brown for doing the overview on our team call last week. If you did not have a chance to listen to it, I encourage you to listen to the replay. Um, it was very comprehensive, did a great job. I want to thank Nick Brown for getting our guest, um, Charles Nicholson, on the, on the view on yesterday. Uh, he was very good. Again, very comprehensive information. He also has a YouTube channel and he's, he does training uh, on his YouTube channel as well. And we are, we're planning to plug into that. Um, he has a, a very no, no nonsense, straightforward demeanor. He is not Mr. Excitement, Mr. Entertainment, but he's very straightforward, very concise and, 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 and very method. Methodolo method methodology. Uh, he goes. He does things. Um, he does things systematically. I can't think of the word method. 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 Anyway. Uh, so method methodological. Something. Anyway, I got to look that up. I'll look it up and get it right next time. So, um, so we're tying into various directors, and he's also a proponent for um, the three, getting rid of the three and free, and he say that. Um, because what was happening is people would get three and free and then they'd stop. And it was stunting the growth of our company and we we're trying to grow. Now, I know a lot of people are saying, oh, well, you know, I'm not going to pay the $95. And our, our, a lot of people's, um, and I'm, I'm beginning to feel this way too, is that, you know, this is business overhead and we're also saying, okay, this is a way you can eliminate that $95. And you can make money to pay for that $95, which is what you're supposed to be doing. And so, you know, when you, when people say, oh, well, you know, I don't have $95 to spend, and you're telling them ways that they can cover that if they're not interested, is that someone you really want in your business anyway? Because what they're telling you is they're not going to do anything. If they're not willing to book travel, if they're not willing to grow a team, then they don't need to be in the business. If they don't feel the, the feel that is worth the membership, the $95 per month. And we know that there are people who are paying that $95 per month. Those people who travel and are reaping the benefits, that $95 is a drop in the bucket for the savings that you get if you travel. So if they're not in, in, the, in those three categories and can see it, is that someone that should be paying the $95? Is that someone that you want in your business anyway? So ask yourself that before you, um, you know, reactivate somebody before you actually, you know, talk to someone. Because if, if that is going to be an issue, if you're, if you're going to, don't, don't sign up projects. And I know Nick has to tell me this all the time. Um, you want people who are confident, people who want to, who don't mind going out and, you know, getting training and, and, and talking to people people who want to do things, people who want to put things together, people who want to travel. And so when you attract those kinds of people, it makes it easier because you don't have to talk about the value of the $95. So with that being said, that is our training for today. It's 10 o'clock straight up and down. Again, I know I've been talking. Did you have any issues, questions, comments, or concerns? Please stay on top of your emails. Stay on top of the Facebook page. Um, look for the various things um, that I've shown you today and, uh, and stay up to speed because we're, we're moving. We're moving very quickly. Nick and I will be at, in Florida for spring training. We will be in Baltimore for the, um, for the, um, the company's anniversary. Uh, so we'll be doing that as well. And I encourage you to attend our, our director's events and our corporate events. You don't have to ask us. We are going to be at corporate events unless something is really, really happening. If Surge 365 is hosting an event, especially in our back door, we are going to be there um, because we know that that is where you get the updated information. That is where you find out, you know, you get whatever the new, the new things that are going to be launched. That is where you get to build those relationships. And so it's so important to get to the company, the company events. It's so important to get to our director's events. And it's so important to get to our team events. 
And so you're going to see more team events. Get your travel party on the books. Let's go out and do what we got to do. However, um, if you're not able to do a travel party in your home or in your, uh, at your Starbucks, definitely make sure that you're going to be plugging in to our team luncheon that is probably going to be the last, um, the last Saturday of the month at Olive Garden in Bowie, Maryland. Um, we might change the location depending on how things work out. But right now, we, our team event will be the last Saturday of the month, and it will be a luncheon at a restaurant. Why? Because it's cheaper for us to get a restaurant than to get them to actually rent a room. Um, it's, it's much cheaper. Um, so um, we, will be, we will have it at a restaurant the last Saturday of the month. Um, if there will be a luncheon. So you can put that in not, right now. Our, it will be at the Olive Garden in Bowie, Maryland. So um, any more issues, questions, or concerns? Thank you all for joining us. Sorry I went over time just a little bit. Belinda, thank you for ask, asking those questions. Um, awesome. If you, I, know, I know if you have questions, you're definitely in the game. You're texting me. You're emailing me. And so just so proud of you for everything that you're doing, hitting the ground running and learning everything that you can about our business. With everybody else, get on Facebook. Make sure that your, your team is on Facebook. Um, and, hey, make sure we, we go ahead and invite people on to that online presentation. One o'clock will be the test drive. Eight o'clock and 10 o'clock will be a full presentation. Y'all have a good day. God bless. And I look forward to seeing you. And yes, I do mean you at the top, at the very top. It is going to be the tip top. That completes our Focus Forward uh, training and webinar for today. Have a good day. Bye-bye.